and countrymen. I wish to welcome you to the Village Shakespeare's Club's production of Macbeth. Whoa, hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. It's not Macbeth. Not Macbeth. No. Read oh. the notes on the third page down. Oh, oh, I see. It's improv. Good. You got well, it. Well, improv it is. I'm sure you will enjoy our show. It will be extremely funny in places. And even I don't know what the actors are going to say. We have no scripts. Uh, there are no guarantees that the, that, what was that? Don't worry about your name. We know it's Barbara. Uh, just sit back and enjoy. The show is going to be funny. Uh, in order for everyone to enjoy the show and not distract our players more than they already are, I need you to take out yourself. volume down to zero. If anyone's cell phone goes off during the performance, I need you to stand up immediately, immediately, and come right over here to the podium. Bring your cell phone, we're going to put it next to the microphone so, and turn it on speakerphone so that everyone can participate in the experience. Since by that, point in time, we know you're an exhibitionist, you're going to be invited to stand here and take part in the show as a volunteer from the audience in the next scene. Uh, so does everyone have their phone turned off or on? Uh, we will need a few volunteers in the show. Uh, I hope uh, Larry and uh, Doc have, have gotten the names of the volunteers, otherwise we'll have to pick you at random as we go. Uh, it will be an easy part for the volunteers. Some people easier than others. Okay, here are today's rules. The show is going to be about 70 minutes without, in one act, no intermission. There will be no recording of audio or video uh, in today's show. And if you'd like to see a copy of the show afterwards, we're going to show it on our website, thevillagesimprov.com. If you like the show at the end of the show, you're going to, if you're the person who purchased the tickets, you're going to get an email from allevents.in. Give us a good review. If you didn't like the show, remember, this was the Village's Shakespeare Company doing Macbeth. Now, on with the show. Jim, come on out. Good evening, villagers, friends, and friends of villagers. We're going to start out tonight with a pretty tense situation. You know, all the different sheriff's departments that patrol the villages, they're all unbalanced, pretty nice, polite people. Uh, but every once in a while, things go a little crazy, and his... Uh, Patience is strained. We're going to show you what that might be like in just a minute. And close. Mommy. Do you Are we have here? Your yes, mommy. Seat on. Do you have your seat? Put your seatbelt on. Why? Because we're being pulled over. No. No. Oh. I can handle you. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I don't want to see your license. I don't want to see your insurance card. <laughs> oh, you're in trouble now. <laughs> I just want to have a conversation about your speed. Excuse me, Mommy. Excuse, Excuse me, Mr. I Policeman. I'm trying to talk Shut to Mommy. Shut up! 
God, you're so annoying. Mommy, so, sorry. I gotta so go potty. Bear, Hetty and I have I, to go I potty. I have to deal with this. I have to deal with this. Take your sister out of the car and let her go. Sissy, Sissy, I gotta go potty. Do it. I gotta go potty. And make Get sure. out! Get out! I, and then she it's all me. right. Go. I'll wait. Go. <laughs> now, you see, ma'am. Watch her. No. Today. Ooh, ooh. I have to watch her. Yes. yes. She's, um, she's been drinking. She oh, had she vodka. Has been yeah, drinking, she I had see. vodka and uh, what's that other stuff? Champagne, I think. Champagne. Oh, yeah. Just yeah. mixing it together. Well, see, the fact of the matter is. I told you not to you drive. You were going south on Morse, well, kind of like. You wanted to drive, and you don't have a license. Well, who's the parent here? Mm -hmm. Well, I am the parent, and that's why you're not driving. You want driving. to let her back in, please? Mm -hmm. Get in. Oh, that, open the door yourself. <coughs> Put your seatbelt on. Honey. No, ma'am. No. Yes, sir. May I yes, have sir. your undivided attention? I hope so. I hope so. Settled? Yes. You were going. No, 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 are you sure? Yeah, yeah. Well, Wasn't do, you I? Have, do you have radar? Because I do. Well, I have a speedometer. I mean, it's broken. Well, it goes like this. that's but a different story now, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, same story. So, Mommy! What, honey? <laughs> Come on, stupid. Fine. Again? Can, can, we, can we please go back to the part where you have had vodka and champagne and you were speeding? And iced tea, Long Island iced tea. I had, I had, Long had you, I, I, iced anything, tea. Anything else? She had uh, orange juice with it. Yeah, I had orange juice. And this is not her first time getting pulled over like this, officer. Oh, really? No, oh, no, no, no. No, 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 it's the third. And um, mom, mom, is this a good time to tell you I'm pregnant? Sissy? <laughs> How was it? No! Oh! Get Teddy for your baby. Back in this car. No. Officer, we have a problem here. Who yes, was it? We, was yes. it that Eddie? Eddie. Okay. Take your pad out. Get your pad out. You got to take some notes I, here. You I have haven't to, even brought my pad, madam. Let me tell you. All right. Well, remember Today, this. The guy is about six foot two. He always, he's got, he's got earrings. He's got one of those earrings with the big hole and stuff. Was it Eddie? Mommy, let's go to Eddie's house and you find him. You have to arrest him. She's 15 years old. You, you have to. This, forget about my speeding. This is just much less important. Are, are you going to arrest this guy? No, I, and I'm not even going to arrest you. This is the last day of the month, and I could have written a, a speeding ticket for you, and I would have made my quota, but I'm going to just let you go. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very thank much. Thank you, Mr. Police. What night. do you mean you're pregnant? Oh, my goodness. Get out of this car. Sissy, uh. get her. I'm sure everyone in this room has eaten at a village's restaurant at one time or another. Some of them are good. Some of them are bad. Some of them mostly are in between. And a lot depends on your weight person. Well, tonight we have a little bit of a waitress problem. She's had a bad day and it's getting worse. Ladies, take it away. Laura, I'm so excited we can meet tonight. I haven't seen you in so long. This is going to be well, so much fun. Uh, well, I, I did. Oh. Howdy, ladies. Welcome to Ribs R Us. Are we all in a good mood today? Ribs R Us? Isn't this vegetarian? No. Why would you think a rib? Oh, you know, it could be vegetarian. Maybe they make it out of other things. And what's your attitude all about? Hmm? You know, I've had a rough, rough, rough month. I've been in rehab. Do you want a drink? I'm not supposed to drink. We'll, we'll make it weak, like yeah. all of ours. Bring, 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 bring double for her. And, and may I, ma'am, ma'am, Bertha, come back here. What is this hat for? My name is Ruby. It's Ruby. short for Rubella. Now be Rubella. nice and call me Ruby. Okay, I'll call you, uh, yeah. you watch your mouth. I'll call you Rubella. Uh-huh. Are we supposed to wear these, Roberta? Well, Heidi, I'm not sure. Does Rose, it fit you? Rose, Rose, excuse me. How do you fit these hats on your head? Oh, okay. I'll show you. Maybe. Okay. 
Oh, well. That's, that's good. That's one way to do it. Now oh, God, don't hurt me. I know how you are. I mean, so I've heard. I've read the reviews. What <coughs> reviews did you read? I read, well, I read that this restaurant was good, okay. but there were a so few people here that weren't so hot. Are you, are you going to eat tonight or are you just going to talk? Uh, well, it, we, we don't have menus, Bob. Oh. oh, okay. Here. Here you go. Now okay. You the menu. Um, what, what about me? Oh. May I borrow that back for sure. a minute, dear? Thank you. Okay. There you go. All right. Remember, we have ribs that are sweet and spicy and many that are slightly dicey. Um, uh, uh, I only have the breakfast menu. No, it's right there. Um, no. uh -huh. I, you know, I think it's so great. What is your relationship? Uh, well, we're, we just got out of rehab together. Well, that's nice. Are you mm -hmm. the mommy? No, we're just oh, friends. It looks like mommy and daughter. It's not mommy and daughter night. There's no discounts. Um, um, my we're, menu, we're, my we're, menu's in Spanish. Que bueno. We're, Do you want me to tell you? Yes, please, okay. please tell me. Pollo, um, pollo, ribo. Rachel, pollo. Rachel, we're actually the same age. And, you could have fooled me, honey, but that's okay. You and keep and uh, here. And Ricky, where did you get the hairdo? That's my latest. Excuse me. Ooh, what is go. this? That's your martini. Hang I, on. I, that, I, can I try it? Well, I wouldn't if I were you. Oh, no, there's like some leftover like stuff in there, like there's stuff around or something. No, no, that's gold. Didn't you ever have a drink with gold in it? Gold slices? No. Got no. Oh, you, no. You're, you're very village. <laughs> um, I, I'm, I'm wondering, um, do you have any appetizers? Because this is a special occasion for is us. This, is this a coupon for a free drink? No. Oh. I have one on mine as well. Oh, good. I believe I have the coupon. No. No. Yeah. Did you want something else? Yes, I would like okay, anything well, why else. Why don't we speak something up and else, get this order else. going, ladies? All okay? Right. I don't have all day to be with you. I have all of these other customers. Oh. Well, oh, yeah. Do Looks you see really what they do to me? Busy. And then they say, I'm rude. Okay. I, I, it appears to me there are no other customers here tonight, uh, Ruby. Uh, I don't think her name's Ruby. Glasses? It's Amaretto. Don't you Amaretto. Remember? That's right. Amaretto. Right. That's right. Amaretto. Okay. Yes. Amy? What would you like? Um, um, Barb, could I have some... Uh, wait a minute. You want Barb? Yes. Barb maybe. left. Uh, 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 it's, uh, well, I'm sorry. The kitchen is closed. Me too. Leaving. Goodbye. Me too. Goodbye. Thank nice you so you. much. Now I know none of you has ever had an experience like that at, at any restaurant here in the villages, have you? Ha! <laughs> now, what we have for you is a housewife from right here in the villages who has, over the years, managed to train a wide variety of wild animals to do all kinds of household tasks and even some medical tasks. And she's going to be on the local WVLG TV to show you all about her skills. And we have a visual interpreter, which I forgot to mention initially. The lovely Margaret is going to visualize everything that goes on in the next few minutes. So good evening, and welcome to WBLG-TV. We have with us today Bernice Goldman Goldfarb Goldstein, who has been a resident here for seven years or so. And Tell us, how does your day begin? Yes, my chimpanzee, Felix Unger, he's a clean freak, injects himself and the other six animals with a bio-identical hormone. It gives them the feeling of having smoked a joint, and it kills their sex drive. What does he do for you? Have, what, how have you trained him? Well, he's a clean, clean freak, so he vacuums, mops the floors, dusts. He actually changes the batteries and smoke detectors, and he can even change light bulbs. 
That's pretty, well, of course, he's a very agile, it's, this is the chimp you're talking about? Yes. Well, I mean, he can just kind of jump up and clean the lamps and jump back down and no problem there. Yeah. So tell us some more about your menagerie of trained folks. I have Kong, the koala bear. Kong gave the best Manny petties, but he went blind. Oh, that's sad. So Tarzan, the orangutan, taught him how to read Braille. And now he gives Sunday sermons from his Braille Bible, and we love it. That's really amazing. You, you, I understand you have some very large animals as well. Yes, I have Dumbo the elephant. And he paints houses and or will power wash, and he, clean, he cleans gutters. That's truly, truly amazing. Yes. Do you, do you have any trouble organizing their daily feed? I mean, chimpanzee doesn't eat the same thing as an elephant or a koala bear that only eats eucalyptus leaves. Is that a tough thing? I have it all separated so that the meat-eating meat animals are over here, and then the vegetarians are over here. I see. That's amazing. So do you hire these animals out around the villages? Do you advertise in, this, in the sun for your troop of animals to go out and do things, or do you just keep them at home? Well, they love being at home. Tony the tiger will actually go into my bed like Siegfried and Roy, and they're available to be rented for only $88 an hour. That's really good. Well, I'm delighted that you were able to join us today, and um, maybe you'll come back. I will be back because I'm going to train bees how to wash cars. Amazing. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here today. probably asking yourself, what are all these people doing on stage at the same time? Because we have scenes from a hat. They're going to do their very best to respond to whatever is written on these cards up and down the line. But if they don't act quickly, oh, the bell is a little too tight today. Anyway, we're going to give them a bell, and then the next person moves on. First scene from the hat. Oh, I hope Larry mentioned before handwriting counts, because I have to be able to read these. Card number one, the wonderful aspects of menopause and manopause. A good vibrator with extra battery. An organic vibrator is even better. Hey, you wanted the extra batteries? You got them, okay. Oh, good. Next, okay. <laughs> Rejected dwarves from Snow White. I'm too tall. I used to be happy. Cranky. Hi. <laughs> I'm sleazy. <laughs> Flashy. <laughs> How about feely? I'm brownie. And I'm bringing in Felix Unger. Next card. Here's one from the audience. Things you should never say the first time you meet your future in-laws. So is your sister seeing anyone? 
her brother. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I see your pictures on a post office wall? <laughs> yeah, we were drunk. <laughs> I used to be gay. <laughs> this isn't what I was expecting. Thank you, players. One of you says, when your mom tells you your new boyfriend is also your cousin. Well, welcome to Arkansas. <laughs> Thanksgiving's going to be a little awkward this year. Oh, and we had sex? <laughs> That's why you have six fingers. Your cousin is also a transvestite. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Anybody else for that one? Okay. Worked before, sorry. <laughs> Next card, unusual mixed drinks. Tuna fish and lime. <laughs> Tequila and Metamucil. <laughs> Anchovy sardines. Pepto Bismol and Scotch. Everything on the back wall, it's called mental paws. <laughs> <laughs> Wonderful players. Let's see what we have here from the audience tonight. Things guaranteed to kill the mood in the bedroom. The batteries are dead. So is your mother seeing anyone? Yeah, your father. Oh! <laughs> Boy, that was the biggest roach I've ever seen right there. <laughs> oh! Wow. <laughs> Come on, sis, we had fun before. Oh, but you forgot to bring your brother. <laughs> oh. This could be a real challenge, ladies and gentlemen. Something you don't want your kid to say just before they flush the toilet. Mom, Dad, come look at this. This looks funny. I took it out and it tastes good. <laughs> so where's the pet dog? Bombs away! <laughs> I guess the iPhone isn't waterproof. <laughs> well, it worked once before. Thank you. Moving right <laughs> along. Going to a family dinner where someone announces that they're gay. Don't all rush in at once. <laughs> I figured. <laughs> You're gay? No way, so am I. What did you all think you were reading? I'm happy and joyous. There you go. Oh, that's all right. We'll figure all this out later. He had it coming. He had it coming. <laughs> Tell us something we didn't know. Thank you, players. Things you wouldn't want to find in your refrigerator. Frozen sperm. Mm. 
<laughs> I think that was a hint. <laughs> Thank you, players. Thank you very much. This one is random, random, random. We have no idea what's going to happen until we find out what's on these cards. So, anybody? Uh, Becky? Huh? We all pick her, okay. No, you. I want one, just one. <laughs> okay. Remember me saying earlier, handwriting counts? Yes. I want another one. Seth. No. See what hers is. Ooh. I know. Is this the one about capturing King Kong? Mm -hmm. What do we want to do here? Mm -hmm. Tell us. Tell us our situation. Give us okay. our situation. Let's go. I'm keeping my two lines so I can re remember them. <laughs> <laughs> Give me those two lines. Scenes we might see while setting up camp. All right, Janet. We need to get the firewood because if we are out after dark with these animals around, we are going to be screwed without a fire, okay? What was that? Probably an alligator. You know it's mating season. Ugh. Okay, Julie? Yes? All right, I need you to set up the tent. Okay. Yes. I need you to put all the poles together and make it round so we can get in and sleep in it tonight. Have you thought this through? Yes, I thought this through. We need some cover over us, okay? That's impossible. Not really. Um, the instructions are, are with the tent. I brought them along okay. right there. I'll use my gun. No, don't use your gun. No, 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 no. We, they're protected. They're a protected species. We can't... You mean on the tent? No, 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 no. We need... If it rains tonight, we don't need holes in the tent, okay? All right. Um, so, um, have you thought this through? Yes, I have thought this through. Um, we were going to go camping to build teamwork, right? Because Can I use my gun. No, that's impossible. Teamwork is never impossible. Well, teamwork is work, and teamwork is the dream work. <sighs> so, set up the tent. Okay. Oh, uh, no, that's impossible. What was that? The instructions. Okay. That was the sound of you not getting firewood for the fire tonight, okay, please? I resent just... that. Should I use my gun? No, you should use the axe. That's why I brought it, that little hatchet right there, this little thing. This little thing right here, right? It's you know? enormous. It's heavy, I know, but it's all, have you thought this through? All right, here. These are the directions, okay? That's impossible. No, they're not. They're, let me have them. Let me have them. Let me have them. Okay? Oh! <laughs> okay. All right. So, um, I'm going to bring out the food so that we can cook on the fire that we're going to start once you get the firewood. Hmm. Uh -huh. That's impossible. Uh -huh. I know. I'm finding that this is an impossible task That's for her impossible. because she's not moving. Yeah. Okay. I resent that. I'm sorry, honey. I, I, you know, I just, I, I, I just would really like for you to grab that stick right there and just try to break it. Just, just, just try to break it, okay? Have you thought this through? It's you enormous. Know, when, when I suggested this outing, no, I hadn't really thought it through, really, I guess. But uh, because, um, that's well, impossible. What was that? I'm telling you, mm. that was the turnpike, okay? That, that was the air brakes on one of those tractor trailers going by. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Here's a pole. All right. Uh -huh. I, want, I want to thread this through, okay? Here you go. Not impossible. Not impossible. See? There well, you go. Have so, you thought this through? Pull. I, I don't want it to go through. I, I want, I, uh, that's impossible. No, it's not. It's enormous. The tent actually it's is. It's enormous. The tent is actually a three-person pup tent. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Have you thought mm. this through? 
Huh. Maybe this wasn't the best campsite. You're right. I hadn't thought that totally through. And I'm trying here. I'm trying to be the leader of this team building expedition. Right? Uh, that's yeah. impossible. And I use my gun. I know it's impossible. We're not doing anything teamwork. What? No, don't use your gun. Please don't use your gun. I don't want to get hurt. Mm. Okay? Mm -hmm. I know you are mm. military trained and all of that, but mm. please don't use your gun. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. How about this? How about you unpack the food? <laughs> Have you thought that through? No, no I haven't. <laughs> okay, look, look. It's enormous. That's, okay, yeah, that is the giant Snickers bar <laughs> for later. We're going to do a modified s'more. What was that? Oh, that's impossible. Impossible. Well, I know you're off sugar, but, you know, the two of us could have something. It's just, what? Have you thought that through? No, I haven't. You know what? Never mind. I saw a Denny's down the road. We're going to go eat. Come on. We've come to a point this evening where we need two volunteers to come up and join us. We're going to do... We need your help because we have a skit, but we don't have anybody to do sound effects. Step right up, lady and gentlemen. You be careful too. We need a mic for him. All right. Is this working? Okay. And what's your name, sir? George. Okay, George. Your job is going to be to make the sound effects that your person is going to tell you to do. You must obey. And do a good job or the audience is going to boo you. Well, I'm used to that. Okay. My wife tells me I have to do so, it all the time. Uh, this is Debbie. Hi, Debbie. When Hi, Debbie, Debbie. This is George. When Debbie signals you, you do what she tells you. You want to introduce Norm? Oh, sure. <laughs> okay. And this is Norm. 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 Your person is Becky. When Becky points to you, you are responsible for making whatever sounds she tells you. Don't screw it up, Norm. Okay? All right. Hey, Sergeant Becky, do you hear the wind going? <laughs> I got a new hat. I'm going to put it on. I know it's not regulation, but I'm going to put it on. because it's, it's not regulation, Private. In fact, that's a hurricane force wind out there with debris flowing all around. <laughs> that sounded like an air raid siren. Well, actually, that was the <laughs> dog. <laughs> that was the dog out, out that we left untied. <laughs> Spinning round and round and round. I think he's hungry. Yeah? Well, um... My you know, I'm hungry, too. My stomach's growling. Well, why don't you go open the refrigerator and grab something to eat? Okay, I'm going to open the refrigerator. It's sure. rusty, though. And I'm going to search through everything, and if I don't like it, I'm going to throw it on the floor. <laughs> well, you know what? I got all of these cabinet doors to open and slam. Hello! Hello! <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. And a drawer to pull out. <laughs> and a cracker box to open. <laughs> oh, get, I'm going to have a cracker. Give me a cracker. I'm not sure you want these. They're a little stale. I don't care. All right. All right. Um, they're kind of gummy. Um. <laughs> well, here you go. The drawer's going back in. <laughs> you know what? I'm thirsty. I think I need some water to go wash these. <laughs> You know, I didn't like the way that drawer was sounding. I got to put a little oil on it. Please. 
Yeah. All right, let's see how it works now. <laughs> it's still broken. <laughs> it's still broken. <laughs> oh, you know what? Never mind. Go no. home. No. Yeah. So do you think we should go get our horses and, and, and ride? Uh, we, we could ride in this wind uh, if you really would like. I got to put my hat down more on my head. Yeah, me I need to put my hat down more on my head. <laughs> Good enough. Can you, help her? can you help her put her hat on her head? Maybe you can help her put her hat on her head. No, I'm just imitating a horse. <laughs> I guess I'll just screw it on. Seems, seems like everything on my side sounds like that. It must be the joints today. I don't know. Arthritis is acting up. That's what it, it is. It is. It is. All right. So um, here, horsey, horsey. Here, horsey, horsey. Come, horsey. Oh, horsey. yeah. You got to get the grain out and shovel it in the, um, in the bucket. Shovel it in the bucket. Um, I, mean, I mean, you know, it, rotate it in the bucket. Get it all like, get the sound. It's hitting the trough. It's hitting the trough. Yeah, there it comes. Stay down. Okay. Oh, you can. It's slobber, slobber. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know what, Sergeant Beckers? Yeah. I think we have to go back to the headquarters. Okay. So uh, let's get in our Lamborghini that's really fast. Oh, I love the sound of that Lamborghini. thing when it goes up. <laughs> our Lamborghini is really fast. Wow, it's a remote control Lamborghini. George, I'll walk you back. You got him. Yep. Give it up for audience volunteers. Come on, take a little me. bow. Watch your step. I know, but so much. <laughs> I want you all to remember in a few minutes, we might just call some for some volunteers again. And if it's going to be that much fun, I'm sure you're going to want to volunteer. That was great. Thank you both, <laughs> gentlemen. Wonderful. The lady here on my left is the wonderful and talented Blondie. She has a real name, but we call her Blondie <laughs> because we have another lady who has the same name and it gets really confusing. Anyway, she is a woman of some years and she's going to tell us now some things about getting older. Thank you, Jim. Yes, I'm a woman of some years. I was late this morning getting here. I couldn't find my phone. I had to actually end up coming here without it. When they asked me to do a little presentation on growing old, and they said, make it funny. OK, so I sat there, and I paced, and I walked back and forth and back and forth, trying to think, what's funny about growing old? What's funny about growing old? Anyone? Nothing. There's nothing funny about growing old. I look in the mirror, and everything has betrayed me. I used to be a fox. Now I'm a zoo. <laughs> I have crow's feet. I have alligator skin. I got the bat wings. I got spider veins. I got a turkey giblet here. Betrayed, I tell you, I'm betrayed, betrayed. We all are. We all go to so many doctors here in the villages for everything. And yet, our body just can't make up its mind what it wants to do. The newest one that I have is I'll be walking along and it's <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Where does it come from? I don't know. I, I, we go to so many doctors. We get knee replacements. We get hip replacements, shoulder replacements. 
Those people used to be called the bionic man and the bionic woman. Now they're senior citizens. <laughs> and hearing aids. Have you looked in the Daily Sun to see hearing aid ads? A full page hearing aid. Do they think we're blind too? <laughs> I'm telling you. How many of you know somebody who needs a hearing aid? Ladies, ladies. How many of you need a hearing aid? <laughs> we don't rate our doctors here on Yelp. We rate them not with stars. We rate them with rubber gloves. You can hear a conversation. My doctor has a five rubber glove rating. He's the best. I know, I know one guy who went to the proctologist so often, his doctor and nurses threw him a b mitzvah. <laughs> the worst part, though, is memory. Oh, my goodness. I, I told you my phone's gone. I just was going crazy. Couldn't remember anything. Couldn't remember doctor's appointments. Couldn't remember my mahjong game. That's bad. But my neighbor has an eight-year-old niece, and she came over and she told me, there's an app that you can mark down the night before, when you remember, everything that you have to do the next day. Your doctor's appointment, your mahjong games, whether you, what you need, you can make a list for the store. And it was wonderful. She described it. So I said, sure, come on over. I baked her cookies and everything. And she spent four hours going through everything and putting everything in there. I was so excited. This is it for me. This is it. So I go to bed the night before, I get up in the morning, I have my coffee, and I'm ready to go. Bet you want to know how it works. I'll let you know when I find my phone. <laughs> we need some help. Oh, we need, we're beyond help. You got somebody. We need somebody down on this line here that's going to be. We need somebody down here on this side. If I have to, I'll go down and drag them up. Oh, we got a guy. All right. This is George Tom or Tom George. So, you're probably wondering, what is going on here? Well, what's going on is Carol is going to teach our two gentlemen here, David and Doc, and our volunteers, how to pole dance. <laughs> wait a minute, wait a minute. My name is Hubinski. Ancestors come from Poland. Pole dance is polka. No, 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 no. Welcome to Lila's pole dancing. Oh. Polka is next week. Okay. 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 Pole dancing is the sensual dance we love. Gentlemen, grab your poles. Grab your poles. <laughs> <laughs> Tucking those tummies is all about core. We need a lot of work. Yes. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Core. Grab the pole. And now we are going to move the hips to the left. Left. Okay. Move the hips to the right. Right. Move the hips forward. Back. Put it together, gentlemen. Left, right, forward, and back, and left, and right, and forward, and back. Keep it going. We are moving. Woo! Now hold your pole. Left hand. Sweep it open. Ah, ah and back. Ah. And sweep it open. Ah. And back. Ah. Switch hands. Oh. Sweep it the other way. Here we go. Ah. Open. Tuck in those bellies. And open. And close. Hold the ball. We're going to shimmy on down. Shimmy on down. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Ah. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Ah. 
Shimmy on down. Mm. Let me see some mm. shimmy. We mm. got this. How low can you go? I need an ambulance. Get up, get up. Oh. Oh, just, oh, oh. Okay, we shall hold the pole. Hold the pole. Stick those butts out. Butts out. Butts out. Swing it to the right. <laughs> Swing it to the left. Swing it to the right. Swing it to the left. Come around the pole. Around the pole. And swing it, guys. Swing uh, it. Swing it. Give it all you got. Give it all you got. Okay. And now let's partner up. You two and you two. Backwards. 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 Uh, back. Hold back. your pole. Yeah. Hold your pole. Yeah. Feel the energy. Mm. Move it. Move it. Hold the pole and move it. Move it. I need a cigarette. There you go. Move it. Move it. Move it. Beautiful. <laughs> Come away. Come away. Okay. All right. Let's move in motion. Just feel it. Remember, you love your poles. You love your poles. You love it more than you love your spouse. Oh, oh. No. oh no, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. right there. No. Oh, oh. We won't tell her then. Okay. All right. Hold the poles again. All right. All right. Now slither, slither, nope. slither, slither. Here we go. Gentlemen, are they ready for the greasy spoon down in downtown Wildwood? Oh. Yay! Oh. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. This way. <laughs> This brings to mind what the drill sergeant said on day one, never volunteer. <laughs> These two lovely ladies, namely Barbara and, I'm sorry, what was your name again? Christine. Oh yes, Barbara and Christine. You've all seen QVC and other things like it on the television. And we're going to have a little bit of QVC right here, right now, tonight. And I'm going to hand these ladies an item for sale, and they're going to sell it until they're all gone. <laughs> here is the item. Oh my gosh, Christine, the tapper is back. Now you're probably wondering why I'm so excited about a plastic cup. Well, it's no ordinary plastic cup. This has the Tesla technology. Christine, explain how it works. Yes, the tapper has five functions. Using any one of your five fingers, you can tap your way to a great life. Feeling depressed? Just tap your thumb and your depression is gone. Need direction in your life? Tap your forefinger, and you're headed in the right direction. <laughs> Have anger issues? Tap your middle <laughs> finger. <laughs> tap, tap, tap. And your anger is gone. Need love in your life? Just tap your ring finger, and you'll have all the love you need. Have health issues? Just tap your pinky. You're cured for life and all your health issues are gone. As a matter of fact, it cured me of COVID. <sighs> well, Christine, you know, I like to use this for anger management, especially when I'm driving here in the villages. You know what I'm talking about. Like when someone cuts right in front of you for no apparent reason at all, I just get my middle finger and I just tap, tap, tap that anger away. Now you're probably wondering, how much is this fabulous product going to be selling for? Well, we're selling it for $500 for five easy payments of only $100 a piece. Oh, wait, wait, the producer. Wow, today is your lucky day. <laughs> He's saying that he wants to throw in at no cost the Tiny Tapper Zapper. And this Tiny Tapper Zapper Say that ten times fast. It has the, uh, it's engineered to fit any size finger, 
so you could wear it 24 7 and be in total bliss christine how did, how did this help you is this a good price oh absolutely the tapper saved me thousands of dollars in medical and therapy bills wait you know what we only have four left we have a caller on line one we have a, a laura from hackensack new jersey hello hello hi Am hi I laura hi laura what do you like to use this for oh my god i can't believe i'm on qvc i love you all the time oh that's oh, great christine's what, my favorite and what do you use this for laura what? What? How do you like to use this, uh, the tapper? Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I'm getting it for my, my sons and my daughters and my grandchildren. I, have, I live in New Jersey, you know. Yes. Do you, do you like to use it for uh, maybe uh, for your health or for anger? or for what, what do you like to use oh, it for? For me, for me, it is to meditate because I have spent so much time being so upset. But I'm going to work on my anger issues, so that's what I'm going to use it for. Oh, that's great. Hey, Christine, didn't you date a guy, Tony, from Hackensack? Yes, I did. Tony owned a butcher shop, and he gave me the <laughs> finest cuts of meat. We began to date, and after two years, I brought up the subject of marriage. Huh. Well, uh, Tony said, uh, I already have a wife, a 19 <gasps> kids. Oh, uh, 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 Christine, I, I think, is it Tony Baloney? Yes, it is. Oh, he's my husband. Oh, my gosh. Wait, we're still married. Well, Laura, get your middle finger and start tapping. Oh, you, I'm going to do more than my middle finger. Guess what? We're all sold out. <laughs> and, and I actually spray painted teeny weeny on his windshield to get even. You go, Christine. Does anybody in this room remember Spike Jones on the radio? Nobody? Come on. You're kidding. Anyway, what we have here now is our pal Larry, who is going to tell some old style radio jokes, but with key sound effects. We have Laura and Doc and Barb, ready to add sound effects wherever they're appropriate, whether the joke is good, medium, or bad. Take it away, Larry. Thank you very much, Jim. You know, how many people out here have children? Nobody has any children? <laughs> Get to work! <laughs> Daughter lives up in Atlanta. And got a text from her one night, and it went something like this. Dad, <coughs> pardon me, Dad, everything went fine last night. I'll tell you about it tomorrow. Now, for those of you who have children, you can imagine the trepidations I went through. So the next day, I talked to her, and she said that where she lives in Atlanta, there's a place called the Laughing Skull, which is a comedy club. And it's right down the street from where she lives in Midtown. And she went and she took five weeks of stand-up comedy. And the last week was the graduation where she went on stage and performed. So I said, oh, OK. So of course, it's apparent we ran back to see her the next time we were up in Atlanta. There's only one joke that she said that I remembered. And she said, I'm single, I'm Jewish, but I'm not looking for Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'm looking for Mr. Fine. Feinberg, Feinstein, Feynman. Uh -oh. there you go. There's a place in Lake County that has a fair every year. Every year when they have this fair, couples go there and, and, and participate in all sorts of crazy things. And one of the things they participate in is the helicopter ride. Get that phone, please. <laughs> now, I don't know how many of you have taken a helicopter ride, 
But the father, the husband says, I want to go. And the wife said, it's $50. You're not going. The next year, they come back. He says, there's the helicopter. I want to go up. And she said, it's $50. You're not going up. Third year. Third year. Goes up. And he says, we're going to go up. She said, no, it's $50. We're not going up. Now, the guy who owns the helicopter has seen this for three years. Finally, he says, tell you what, I'll give you the ride for free. Free. Provided you don't talk until we get back down on the ground. That's a deal. They get in the helicopter, they go up. He makes turns this way, he makes turns this way, he goes loop to loop, etc. They come down on the ground, and the helicopter pilot says to the guy, he says, You know, all the hoo, 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 hoops, and the, I thought for sure somebody would say something. And he said, You know, I was going to say something when my wife fell out, but it's $50. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait a minute, that was supposed to be a good thing. It, oh, it, okay. it, it was, but she, she's just testing it out, okay? Yeah. It says down there, blackout, which means blackout. Thank you. Have a Thank good evening. Thank you, players. Thank you very much indeed. Well done, Larry. For this next one, you're all going to have to pay close attention. This is called Questions Only with Hats. Our squadron of players is going to each be wearing a hat and they're going to approach each other but they're only allowed to ask each other questions. They are not allowed to make any statements or rhetorical questions. They just want to know what's up with each other's hats. We have Rick, to closest to me, who is actually someone you all have heard. This is the famous Rick Mitchell, who is the weekend morning guy for WELG Radio. And of course, the fabulous Debbie to get us started. Remember, it's questions only, and if they fail to ask a question, they get the bell and they're done. They have to get back in line. Go. Hey, do you like fish tacos? Wouldn't you say that with this hat I look like a real trooper? Sorry. Um, I want fish tacos. Uh, uh, I think to kill not a question. Bell. Oh, bell. it's not. <laughs> I'm waiting for the bell. You like taco sauce with that? I, uh, I, I <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about Trump building a wall? I didn't really know that. Do I look like I'm coordinated? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, okay. Did that make sense the last time I said that? <laughs> Do you want to go to the Easter parade with me? Is it Easter already? Well, Christmas is coming up. <laughs> so you got the crabs? <laughs> what do you mean by that? Well, with that head, I never mind. <laughs> Can you tell I'm horny? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> is this the story of my life? Have you seen my car? I have no idea. Okay. <laughs> Someone's over here. On Would the you like to go on a safari with me? Did you order the drinks? <laughs> I, I wonder. <laughs> <laughs> How do you like my imitation of uh, Leia, Princess Leia? Can I get a drink? What are you drinking? Drinks here, drinks here. Did anybody order the jester drink? The jester drink? The jester drink. I wouldn't laugh at that. 
I wouldn't laugh at that either, but... Uh... Do I look fabulous? Did you order the Jester drink? Can I get extra fries with that? No, McNuggets. <laughs> Madonna, where's the rest of your outfit? Oh, I get it. <laughs> Dude, have you seen my van? That's um, not a question. <laughs> Do I look better as a blonde or a brunette? You want to go to a fish concert? <laughs> Why do you ask a question like that? <laughs> Are you drunk? More than likely. Uh, would yeah. you like to be queen for a day? Yeah. Boy, wouldn't I? <laughs> Who wouldn't want a hat like this? Nobody that I know would have. <laughs> <laughs> Will you send me on a journey? Why shouldn't I? <laughs> <laughs> I own a boat. Finally got one. <laughs> Elton John, do you want your hat back? <laughs> Who would wear that hat? Hi, guys. Does anybody want to get laid? <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. Thank you, players. Well done. Put yourself in our place. You're actors. You have a play to do, but somehow the dialogue got completely screwed up. And now the show must go on, but the problem is the dialogue is all on little tiny three by five cards and you just kind of have to pick up a card, say what's on the card, and go with it. This is the true nature of great improv. Is that your corgi? Your Majesty? Mm -hmm. You want to pet my corgi? I would love to pet your corgi. <laughs> the Queen is seated. Queen is ready. Hi, you Queenie. Look what I found. How's it going? How's it going? Ooh, we are fine. Well, that M16 play sent me over. Will you please take a seat? Thank you. Ooh. So now, what do they want? What do you want from me? Well, you know. Don't you know? No, they said there was some kind of cards here that would tell here, me. Hold my little cord. No, oh. I don't like dogs. Oh. No. Where did you get her? Oh, we have a By the way, hey, what uh, is, uh, excuse me, the queen is talking. Now, tell me, where are you from? America. America. Oh, that's right. Jersey. That's right. She said the colonies was going to send someone. Yes. Uh huh. I um, brought my tools. And your I'm name ready. or your status? We don't talk about my name. We don't really say my name because I'm. Uh huh. You what know. is your title? What's a title? Oh, dear. Wait a minute. I heard that you referred to as M16. Yeah, M16. They sent me over. That guy. Uh... I'm sorry. Did you have something to complete? He's an idiot. Oh, well, I wish someone would understand the importance of this moment. Well, I don't know what you got me here for. You got to tell me what I'm here for. Well, there is someone who is... Oh, my. You like it? It's the newest fashion. Yes. You know how... Yes. Oh, yes. Not 
bad. Not bad. I heard that when you get home, the first thing you do is take off your bra. Is it true? Well, yeah, you know, there's a lot here. It gets very <laughs> heavy, you know? So what's the job now? What's uh, well, the job? Well, uh, well we're, yeah, weren't you briefed at all? No. You know, I hated that Margaret Thatcher. Who was that? Oh, how old are you? I'm not sure. It appears you don't have the appropriate response to the tragedy I have. If this was an important occasion, they would only send the most important person, and that's why I'm here. You're that important. You know, they tell me. They tell me Rhett Butler is coming. Now. From the movie. No, oh, the real one. Now, um, what's wrong with you anyway? There are suitcases to be unpacked, lady, and I'm wasting time here. I don't know what I'm doing. Well, there is someone whose antics I've grown weary of. Have you now? Yes. Anybody I know? Well, certainly. Um, it starts with a C, but you know, I can't remember the whole name. Weren't you briefed yet? He told me to read the cards. He said everything is in the cards. Uh-huh. Oh, by the end of today, you know, I'm going to be rich. I have a carpal tunnel. I'm all that waving, waving. You know, I'm at that age where everything, yes. Mm -hmm. Right. Now, back to what we were d uh, discussing. You want to try it with this? It doesn't hurt so much. Um, I, I, we, oh, yes, sweetheart, yes. Ibby Dibble. Ibby Dibble? Ibby Dibble needs some kibble. Is that who I'm looking for, the kibble thief? No, it starts with a C. I told you that earlier. A C? Yes. Actually, two Cs. Two Cs? Yes. Exactly what is my job? You're going to uh, rub them out. That's what I heard. Like, like an eraser? No. Don't you know how to use this thing? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. All right, all right. Who do you hate the most? I'm telling you. It starts with a C, and it's two people. He done me wrong. Is it Charles or Camilla? One, two, bingo, let's go. <laughs> so there was probably a time in your life when you said, oh, I have so much to do, I wish I had an extra pair of hands. Well, that's okay as far as it goes, but what if the hands weren't exactly cooperating and doing what you really wanted them to do? Go, ladies. Chef Becky, I'm so excited to have been chosen to be on your first TV show. Student Margie, I just want to introduce the uh, studio audience to Student Margie. She's shown great, great um, knife skills in the kitchen, and I just wanted her, um, I, Chef I, Margaret. Yes, I won a contest to be in this. I, I, I realize that. I put the contest on, and I would like for you, please, oh. to put your chef's hat on. Oh, oh. Because you can't have uncovered oh. hair in oh, the kitchen. Oh, right, right. That's Kitchen 101. Oh, my gosh. I'm so nervous, oh my goodness. Chef Becky. I know, I know. But while you're doing this, I'm going to get a drink of water right here. Right? Yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm just a little thirsty. Now, studio audience, I just want to do... Chef Becky? Yep. Chef Becky? Be yep. I can't <coughs> okay. see. Oh. Oh, here. Ah. Let, oh, okay, there much you better. Go. Thank you. You got it. You yeah, got it. Got it. Thank All you. Right. Thank yeah. Oh, thank wonderful. Uh, All right. So, so um, I wet my whistle. We're ready to go. Mm. What's What's our first um? What's our first um? What's our first? Yeah. Well, the first <laughs> thing. You jumped the gun with the bananas. You ruined the You ruined the spoiler. Oh. You know what the spoiler is? This is a banana. A cupcake. A banana cup. Yes, a banana cupcake Foster's recipe from my grandmother. Well, I heard that is your signature dish, and I'm excited to prepare it with you. Exactly. Now, um, so I don't know what you I take done to my one banana. little piece uh -huh. of banana. Okay, I yes. got that. Yes, just one little piece for sure. the taste. You okay. Have to, my just grandmother always tells you how to try for first. <laughs> it's, it's. I got. Like, I got. Mm. Mm, uh, okay. It's yeah. almost as though well, these bananas weren't were overly ripe. Well, you know, 
It takes a little bit of overripeness for a banana cupcake nut bread, oh. uh, Foster's banana. Your to, grandmother's it's recipe. It's my grandmother's recipe, exactly. Yeah. So what we're going to do is yes. now we're, um, we're done with the banana for at this point. Yes? I, 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 oh, that's just the cameraman. He's I, okay. I, I, oh, I, I wanted to see if right. your banana was better Oh, my than banana? Mine. Yeah. Oh, I, um, this is yeah. highly inappropriate. Oh. Highly inappropriate. Uh, oh. That is bad, bad kitchen etiquette. Oh, well, I'm just I wasn't saying. given any lessons before I got here. I'm just letting you know that. I wish I had. But You're calling my 101 cooking class nothing? No, it's fabulous. I'm so excited mm -hmm. to be here. Well, I, all I right, fine. I, I won a contest. Let's move on. Let's move okay. on. All right. What All right, we? so we're going to take the cupcake. Okay. No. Oh, my goodness. I'm just, okay. <laughs> oh, shoot. Any cupcake? That's ah, just, yeah, not, you have your own. Well. Oh, my God. All right, I'm, you know what? I'm just going to drop this banana. I'm not ready for it right now. I'm just, just drop it. Uh, okay. Okay. Now, and the I, cupcake is, what? I, I see this beautiful cupcake. Is this the finished product? Well, no. Oh, Okay. But, and, and don't be taking bites out of oh, it. Oh, no, I'm I would you. never it, do no, that. Just, I'm on your so, show, for God's sake. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, wow, a lot of sugar. Oh, uh, <laughs> yep. Okay, now, here's yes. the thing. We have to lick the cupcake frosting off because we're going to put oh. the Ready Whip oh. on it. Oh, I have. Right. I have yeah. already pre-prepared. Uh, okay, okay. I prepared uh, a couple uh, of cupcakes uh, on the table that do uh, not have frosting. <laughs> There you go. That's what I have prepared for me. Oh, you. There you go, Chef Becky. You cheated. No, 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 no I have she uh, cheated. prepared so cupcakes she with cheated. no frosting. And, uh, she close to my, she close to my right she hand. She cheated on her final. <laughs> she cheated on her final. <laughs> and if oh, it, and well, it, well, all right, you know what? Well, let's just go on. Yeah, let's, let's just. Okay. I'm going to wipe. Here, okay. let's just wipe this on our aprons. Yeah, sure, why and, not? And um, let's get the wipe ready whip. Thank you. Ready whip, which is right, or, uh, yep, okay, oh, nope, there you go. Oh, so, well, what, are we yeah. putting this on the banana or the cupcake? Oh, I can't, cup I, I don't want to put an eye out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Whoa. All right, so that's it. So, uh, there we go. Um, well, yeah. <laughs> well yeah, you, Chef Becky. Yeah. <laughs> Chef Becky, I've yeah. never seen you use whipped right. cream before. I don't usually <laughs> use processed things, and I so I want thought, to help myself I right you now. I always use regular things. <laughs> Here, hold on. You, I can, wait, you Whoa. know what? Wait a minute. Wait. I'm going to put this under my chin Chef so Becky, I can what, Chef yes. Becky, what yes. about my cupcake? <laughs> Well, I kind of meant the ready whip underneath my chin. I'm just uh, out of control. <laughs> okay, here, I'll hold this. All oh, right. Miss Becky. Miss Becky. Chef Becky. Chef Becky, your whipped cream is it's just like a mess. Oh, now that's just rude. Whoa, it's so rude. How could okay, that even you be? You know what? Wait a minute. Ah! Wait a minute. Oh, I, it's delicious. Mm -hmm. I have to say it's delicious. Well, again, I'm going to put an eye out. Oh, okay. <laughs> You know what? Thank you for joining us today on Cooking with Becky. Awesome, awesome. This fine gentleman to my left is Doc. And he is a real doctor. And he is going to tell you a little bit of a story first about the song and how it came to be. And then he's going to sing it for us. It's all about getting old. Yeah, as a songwriter, you're always looking for any ideas you might have for, for a, a song. You can get it from a sign, or from a license plate or anything, but I was visiting with a patient and showing her x-rays and talking about degenerative joint disease, arthritis, and she looked at me and she said, well, Doc, this is all new to me. I ain't never growed old before. I thought, that's such a great line. And with electronic medical records, I had nothing to write it down on or anything. So I took a paper towel and a skin marker. You know what that is? Like a purple felt tip pen that you mark the skin, wrote down. Ah, I ain't never growed old before. And this is the result. <laughs> Gotta get in the groove. got a new adventure in my life. Not much worry, not much strife. New horizons to explore, but I ain't never growed 
old before. Colors of metal are everywhere. I've got silver in my hair, gold in my teeth, a few implants, but I've got lead in my pants. Growing old is a crazy road. All my bodily functions slow. It's not for the faint of heart. I got my wisdom to impart. Well, I've got a walker, I've got canes. That's because I've got aches and pains. Few more wrinkles on my face, but pharmaceuticals I do embrace. Metamucil is my friend. Keeps things moving at the lower end. It's a daily trip, that is my desire. But preparation H will put out the fire. Growing old is a crazy road. Oh, my bodily function slow. It's not for the faint of heart. I got my wisdom to impart. Now blue-haired ladies, they're good for grins. They'll entertain you with their double chins. Gravity takes its toll on saggy body parts, but Medicare will pay for Viagra. There's this hair on my head, it disappears. Now the hair's growing out of my ears. Speedo swimsuit is just not right. It will not cover up cellulite. Growing old is a crazy road. All my bodily function slow. It's not for the faint of heart. Here comes the scary part. I'm riding down the road in my automobile. I'm looking through the steering wheel. It's a geriatric phenomenon. I got my left turn signal on. I'm up late at night. That's a trip I hate. But you can blame that old prostate. Walking down the hall every night at three. Just because I've got to please growing old is a crazy road. All my bodily function slow. It's not for the faint of heart. I got my wisdom to impart. Growing old is a crazy road. Prune juice will ease your load. On a day I ran out of luck. I'm falling and I can't get up. Growing old, ooh. Growing old, ooh. Growing old, ooh. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you. And now, a bit of magic, leisure domain, prestidigitation from Larry. Take it away, Larry. Before I do that, we want to invite any of you, <coughs> excuse me, who are crazy enough to enjoy improv and would like to be part of what we do up here, and heaven knows the next time we're going to do something. But we do meet Monday nights, which means we'll be here Monday at 6.30 in Rohan, but not in this room. It's down the hall. We meet for about an hour and a half. Uh, we actually practice what you saw. Uh, <laughs> but there are new things that he pulls out of the hat and things like that because we want it to be improv. Now, <clears throat> what I have to show you here is um, this Coke bottle. This is where you say, ooh. ooh. Now, we're going to say the magic word, improv. Improv. And it's disappeared. Now, we're going to say improv backwards. Improv. It's back. Some of you are watching a little too close, besides the fact that we dropped the top. What the hell with the rest of you? Enjoy whatever's left. Amazingly enough, ladies and gentlemen, that's our show.
be the cast. <laughs> to our fabulous director and producer, Mike Roth. Our stage manager, Sue Blaylock. <laughs> Don Wiley on camera. Tony on sound. Pat and Mike on lighting. There's Tim, our master of ceremonies. <laughs> to our cast and to you, the audience, thank you so much. Yay!